and same shoe, different color. And I'm starting immediately by taking the shoe out and saying, that's Kobe if Kobe was still with Nike. That is Kobe. And they nailed it. Wait a minute, the USA does not have GT at the heel. And see this one, because the USA had GT and beyond, at the, it had USA and beyond at the heel, this white version has GT, and then that logo that's on the top of the box has got my QC stamp in there. Nike is getting very good about some things that I find interesting. This looks like a Mamba logo. It looks like a circuit of some type. But we're talking drop-in react cushioning, and we're talking a zoom strobel underfoot that you can see clearly right there. That is the strobel that you're looking at. And it's a zoom cushioning strobel with react on top of it. Now, Kevin Durant didn't get full length. Um, he had the zoom strobel in the fifth, in the, um, the 10 or the 11th. Shoot, I can't remember. It slips my mind. But he went away from it. And I have to think that the React is so cushiony that for basketball, it doesn't work as well as it should. It doesn't work as well as it should. Look at the detail on that swoosh. I know I said in the previous video that this would have been made for Steph Curry if he had still been a Nike guy. This looks like a shoe that they were possibly working on for Kobe. And for the Mamba line. And they were going to reduce the price from the $200 price point that the Mamba line had moved up to, which we all hated and it made Kobe sit. And this shoe is only $170. And it is perfect. This is the first Nike basketball shoe that I feel like can drop down and become a casual shoe. This can become a casual shoe. And I know I'm right because this colorway is reselling for over $220 a pair. It may drop by the time I post this video because I have so many videos to cover. It may drop by then and may not be reselling at that price. So you guys had run out and buy it and be like, Chris, you lied to us. And I'm not lying to you. The thing is reselling for over $220 a pair and rightfully so. It's a gorgeous shoe. It's a pretty basketball shoe. And this TPU right here going around that cages the forefoot allows your foot not to shift side to side. This feels like a Kobe. And it really feels like a Kobe because of these six dots, which in Kobe code, I could probably look it up and find out what the six dots are. I did a video a while back on the Kobe code, but nothing else gets those dots on it like that except for Kobe's shoes. And, you know, Kobe's been gone for a year now, man. And, and, you know, it still messes with all with all of us who were big fans. But to see his shoes so closely tied to him, I'd love to see John Morant in these. I'd love to see a mid-cut version of this shoe. I truly believe this is the first basketball shoe that Nike's made in a long time that can cross over into, you know, streetwear. Because a lot of the shoes that Nike's been making in basketball, they were just pure basketball performance models that did not look good. Uh, the only thing I see as a problem with this is, of course, that foam, and a foam like uh, fit. Those are cut through, so if it rains, your foot's gonna get wet. But as far as ventilation, man, the thing is well ventilated. Because this is not like a 360 fly net. You know, I'm not even sure. I got to look it up. I'm going to look everything up, man, and I'll put some comments in the video. But let's get to the tag and then let's wrap this up because I know you guys are just done with me and my excitement over this Nike basketball shoe. I haven't seen a Nike basketball shoe hit resale. That's not a signature. That's not a signature. That's not attached to a player. Um, the last one that did was the Hyper Dunk. The Hyper Dunk. I did a video of it that Draymond Green was wearing before he went to Converse. There was a hyper dunk that was made, and it was, gosh, it, it was made kind of like all this ballistic kind of mesh look. And, man, when I tell you that thing sold for a grip, it sold for a grip. All right, so let's get to the box and then wrap this up. Nike Air Zoom GT Cut, white, black, bright, crimson, style code CZ0175, 
106. SRP is 170. It's still a pricey shoe, but for the tech, the air, the zoom strobel, right? And the drop in react cushioning, it's very Kobe like in the design and the structure. Um, maybe this is fly knit, but it's fused in different places. And that foam on the top, that GT man is fresh as hell. That's fresh. I'm not going to do the UPC code, but I will read the dates of, not the dates of the production, but the QC stamp 0406 21. Uh, 53 yeah 53 0406 21 0406 21 let's go to the size label and look at the dates of production which are 12 16 22 03 30 21 so very close man that's good we love to see that we're not checking if this is a bootleg of some type um i did not check to see if this was a sock like fit where you get the straps that are inside keeping your tongue in place but that tongue wraps all the way around your foot over your instep. So the tongue itself goes all the way down to here. It looks like it would be a solid performance shoe, but I've known in the past that drop-in soles and full-length Zoom Strobel for Kevin Durant was changed the following year that they came up with that concept of creating the drop-in Zoom, not the drop-in, but the, uh, the Zoom Strobel and then a drop-in insole of React because it's just a little bit too cushy. Even when I run in a Epic React, it's a shoe that bounces so much, your foot can shift around at the forefoot. Now they've taken care of that problem with these this kind of stability cage and the rubber coming up on this side and this TPU coming up here. So your foot should move around a lot. And this really heavy stitch where this anafoam is, it's anafoam, I keep calling it anafoam, it, should help with containment. Don't quote me on that. I did not wear the um, the Steph Curry that has the foam build around it, the Curry one, which was all foam, if you remember. The two had foam, the three had foam also. Um, I didn't wear either one. But the design on this shoe, incredible. Beautifully done. I don't even have anything else to say. That's it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Zoom GT Cut. The Zoom GT run does not look as good. It's a mid. So I'm afraid they'll probably not do this in a mid because they already have what they need. See you guys on the next one. Let's go look at the box real quick. And that's it. Peace, y'all.